Welcome to another episode of Bocce Dome. Uh, this is where we talk all things bocce and tonight it's a special night because we're talking about women, women in bocce. So um, to help me do that, we've uh, gathered some of the our lovely ladies that represent uh, our bocce fraternity as players and in administration. Uh, Nicole, Samsa, welcome again. Hi. You've become a regular on this now, so we're all getting yeah. used to, it, to Nicole. <laughs> And Vanessa, Vanessa Allegretto, how are you, Vanessa? I'm good, how are you, Tony? I'm very well, thank you. And tonight we've been joined, making her debut on Bocce Doe, <laughs> is the lovely Sonia Farber. Sonia is the, our Sports Development and Marketing Director in Bocce Australia. Welcome, Sonia. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tony. Hello, panel. <laughs> okay, look, we want to have a bit of a ch chat about uh, women in Bocce, and um, I guess the opening question is, you know, what do you feel about women, the way they're positioned in our sport and they're represented in bocce in Australia? Now, I guess as a player's perspective from Nicole and Vanessa, I guess if you guys want to comment how you feel the women are positioned in Australia and obviously you're both international players, so you can probably comment um, on an international stage as well. Maybe Nicole, you want to start us off? Um. Yeah, I feel like women are represented well in the sport. Um, there are like quite a few older women, but yeah, I think it would be great to get some younger women representation in the sport um, to develop the profile of the sport and the junior profile of the sport as well. I remember when I started, there would have been about oh, under the age of 25, let's say, there would have been about seven of us. And unfortunately our numbers dwindled and the upper scale age group, they kept getting bigger because they all got older. Um, but it'd be lovely to have some more women in the sport because it's a sport that you can play, you can be young or old, but you can play, you can be an umpire, you can be a coach. It's across the board, you can do anything. It's not just a player. And it'd be nice to have some fresh recruits. I think that women are represented well in our sport currently as far as an equal opportunity perspective. So all of our women can play in all modes of bocce and they have an opportunity to play into club at a national level and even international level. So there's there's no problem with uh, the sport supporting women in sport and I, I agree there probably needs to be more women, uh, you know, playing our sport and coming up the ranks, so to speak. So I think with the changing times of life in general, uh, people, the way they interact with clubs and the way that they actually socialise is becoming a little bit less formal. And what I mean by that is like uh, groups of women are gathering around playing bocce in a social capacity and the wineries accommodate for this so if you search uh, wineries that play bocce a list of them do come up uh, where they're having uh, bocce and wine tasting but we are finding that uh, they do want to partner up with bocce, bocce australia so they can get the appropriate you know bocce sets and set it up in a fun way and know the basic rules that people can play so Nicole, you're obviously our number one lady for the progressive throw. I guess what drew you to do that that particular discipline because that is a hard discipline to do, and you you know you've succeeded, you've competed at world level, and you've had podium finishes. So, in your eyes, what's what's what was the reason for that? Um, well, when I came into this sport, I always saw it the progressive as like the men's event for reserves for the strong, fast guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never like really saw any women doing that event until I went overseas and saw them doing it. Um, yeah, and what drew me to it, I guess, was the athleticism of it. And these days, like mm -hmm. women can do anything. We can do the progressive too. Like it's not just for the men. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was like, why not try it? So 
Um, yeah, couldn't you play as well? Yes. Oh my goodness. I have to share an experience. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll let you know why. <laughs> I may not be able to do the running of it. I'm getting a bit on these days, but I'm happy to give it a go. I'll try anything once. But I must admit, when I went overseas in, back in 2010, I accompanied my father at the time, um, who was uh, coaching the World Championships. And I went overseas and I discovered the rapid relay and never knew that it was part of bocce. And there was techno music going in the bocce home. And, it was just so exciting and exhilarating. And I'm like, gee, I didn't realize this was bocce. And I came back to Australia all inspired. And I went to the bocce court and I started my training. And I think I'm the only one in history, but I ripped my fingernail off. And that ended my bocce career. <laughs> it happens all the time to me. I hate it. Okay, let's just take this opportunity to hear from some of our other women on the international stage and what to hear what they've got to say about bocce. I'm Nina, I'm from Slovenia and I'm the National Progressive Fan Stafeta Thrower. So when I first started playing bocce, I also immediately liked um, these two disciplines. I'm not gonna tell you the whole story, but um, I'm doing sports since I was little and that's why I like all the running and just, just the whole thing of it. These two are my main disciplines, but um, of course I also play other games. I'm really glad because I started talking more about women playing bocce too, because we have good players, we have good results in different disciplines. They don't talk as much as they do about men playing. I mean, it depends on the country, but um, yeah, we can do it too. Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm Serbian bocce player for 10 years. In national team, I'm playing double precision and combina. In Serbia, we have national league where men and women play together, which is great because we can learn a lot and also beat them. I love playing bocce because it's different than other sports, it's interesting, also you can travel and meet a lot of new people which is the best thing. Bye! Alright, let's move on to the next segment. This is the fun segment of the night on the what happens next. Uh, let's just recap on last week's video. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, that was yeah. That was that was an amazing. Thing. That was quite funny. Um, congratulations to all those who corrected uh, answered correctly to that. Um, I'm just laughing because they, that gentleman was my partner, so um, that was quite funny. <laughs> but you, but let's uh, move on to this week's video. We'll show uh, the video clip again and leave out the last couple of seconds and ask all our viewers to. Try to guess what happens next. Way they go. Yes, on the 13, we go 13, Slovakia on to 18. Sure. Slovakia over there going well. Back here in Australia on to 14. Here we go. All right, that looks like that was you, Nicole, in that video. You might want to yeah, give us a bit of background of what happened there. Don't, don't give us the answer though. Yeah, well, I was in China um, and me and my brother Daniel were um, competing in the mixed double rapid. And yeah, so I was doing one of my runs. I was about to shoot the ball and then something happened. Something happened. Well, it mm. looks interesting. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to see. And it was to her favourite song as well, Lady Gaga. <laughs> well, let's hope that they all our viewers uh, can comment and see what they uh, imagine that happened next. All right, I think we'll just wrap it up. I think time's uh, beaten us again tonight. 
like to thank everybody uh, for joining us tonight. The panel, Nicole Sassy Samsa, thank you very much. Nice. <laughs> LEG Allegretto. Night. Thank you very much. And to our special guest, Sonia, the fabulous father. How oh, are you? thank you. <laughs> thank you very, it's very much. Pleasure. Great. It's been great. And it's been really good talking about women in bocce. It's, I think it's it's really uh, surprised all of us how, how great the women are really doing in our sport. It's fantastic. Thank you. That's it for the night until we meet again in the, the bocce time. Everyone stay safe and remember, if you're not playing bocce, you're not loving life. Cheers and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.